Hello, test. Uh, we'll see if anyone's out there later.
test, test. Hi, Cam. Cam. Yes. Cam DeBoer. Cam DeBoer. Hi, Cam. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Cam? Come on. Can you hear me, Cam? Cam? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. How, wait, how is this, here, put it on like normal volume for you and how, how is this for volume wise? Do I need to turn the mic up or down? What about now? How is that volume? Is that volume all right? Is this a good volume? That's, that's the one I. It's delayed a lot. Yeah.
test, test audio. Hello, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Loyola Academy JV baseball field. I'm Gavin Wood, and we're going to have a great day of baseball here. We got the MSOE D3 club baseball team facing, or D2 club baseball team facing off against the Loyola Ramblers D3 baseball team in a non conference game here. It's beautiful here. A little bit of windy, a little bit of wind. Apologize if the noise comes through onto the mic and onto the stream. I'll try to cover it the best I can. First pitch coming up here at 3 o'clock. It'll be Peyton Barr on the mound for the Raiders. And Gonzi is going to be on the mound for the Loyola Ramblers. All right, here are your starting lineups for both teams. Batting first for Loyola and playing left field, Lovick. Batting second and playing shortstop, Ogle. Batting third and playing third base, Delaney. Batting fourth and catching today, Dan. Batting fifth, playing right field, Brendan Bach. Pitching for the Ramblers, Eleganzi. Eleganzi. Batting seventh, playing center field, the president, Nathaniel Glob. Batting eighth, playing second, Zapia. Batting ninth, playing first base, Johnson, and the extra hitter today for the Ramblers, Wallander. Four subs on today for the Ramblers. As they play tomorrow, doubleheader, they mentioned. And here's your starting line. Oh, yeah. He said you need to pixel out his face because he's got <laughs> What's that? Looking yeah. Keep the glasses on. Keep the glasses on. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Can you help Cam through the game changer? Yeah. Of changing it. All right, here's your lineup for the MSWD2 Raiders. Batting first, playing center field today, James Watson. No, I don't have the pennants in there. Batting second, playing right field, Hunter Parkman. Batting third, playing first base, Aiden Linder. Batting cleanup, the second baseman, Bruno Bosman. Batting fifth, playing shortstop, Roman Scarupa. Batting sixth, and playing catcher, number 22, Derek Stefanczyk. Batting seventh, playing third base, Jacob Rallone. Batting eighth, pitching today, as I mentioned before, Peyton Barr. And batting ninth, Alex Eschenbacher in left field. Raiders are coming off a 2-0 series weekend against the UW-Madison D2 club baseball team. Third game was postponed, but they're currently up 2-0. And that game will be resumed on April 26th. If you're interested in watching, we will have the stream for that one. Busy weekend upcoming for the MSVD2 team as they play UWM in their final conference series. Uh, it'll be two games on Saturday, one game on Sunday at MSV Raider Stadium. If you want to come swing out and watch this D2 team play. Loyola played DePaul last weekend from what they mentioned to me. So these two teams kind of met previously in the fall. It was actually the MSOE D3 team that came here for a two-game non-conference doubleheader against Loyola, where MSOE D3 did sweep both games. They were close, though. They put up nine runs in the seventh on that uh, Yep, yep. A little bit of a comeback there in both those games. Got a southpaw on the mound today for the Ramblers. Don't know how many lefties this MSWD team has faced so far this year. Looks like a little bit of a curveball there. See, feeling out what sort of pitches this lineup might be seeing.
All right, folks, here we go. First pitch, approximately 3 o'clock here in Loyola. James Watson, number nine, steps up to the plate for the Raiders. James playing center field today. Had a nice weekend in UW-Madison last year, or last weekend. Threw out a runner at the plate from center field. Got on base a couple times. Looking to do that here. Steps in the box. And here's the first pitch of the game. Take it strike right down the middle. Good start there for the Ramblers. Watson down 0-1. And here's ball one inside. Nice block there from the catcher. Talked to James before the game. He really is stretching now with his leadoff spot that he wants to get on base, be the on-base machine that he likes to be. Sees ball two there, doing a nice job so far. Loyal pitcher nibbling around the zone. Here's a 2-1. Swung on, hit towards the shortstop, gloved, and the throw to the first will be in time. James is retired at one for the first out of the game. Loyola able to get one there on the leadoff man. All right, Hunter Parkman up to the plate, batting second today for the Raiders. Swings on strike one. It's going to be a tough play there for the pitcher. Stumbles with it a couple times. Throw over to one. Not in time. Parkman is safe with a hit there. Infield single there. Sorry about that, folks. Just figuring out the stream. There we go. Just like that. All right, so here we go. Aiden Linder up to the plate, batting third here. First base. Had a nice weekend in Madison, as most of the team did at the plate. Takes ball one there. With lefty on the mound, you always got to be a little bit more careful. It's a base runner. Parkman taking a little bit shorter lead than he normally does. And the pitch, strike one inside on Aiden. Nice pitch there from the Ramblers pitcher, number 23. And the pitch, Linder drives it on towards the second baseman. Out of two and throw to one. Pulls him off the base, he's safe at one, but an out is recorded at second base. That's the second one for the Ramblers. Two outs now, top of the first. Gonna have Bruno Bosman, the cleanup hitter, coming up for the Raiders. Did some damage in the fall series against Loyola. Had a the go-ahead double poke in the seventh inning. Bosman steps in, sees ball one inside. Not a cloud in the sky here. Beautiful Glenview, Illinois for this game. On a short hour drive from MSOE. In the pitch. Strike one there for Bosman. Count is even at ones now. Third base coach today for the Raiders, Alex Eschenbacher. Ball's chopped towards the third baseman. He cuts it off from the short. Over to one. Nice stretch there from the first, final of the inning. After one, after top of the first, no, one hit, no runs for the Raiders. They strand one. We go to the bottom of the first. All right, making a second start up for the Raiders this year. We got number 19, Peyton Barr. 
is a lefty we got a lefty matchup here today. Not very common in the NCBA. Peyton got a win in his last outing last weekend against UW Madison. Threw in five innings, giving up, I think, only three runs. Got a nice fastball sitting upwards of, I'd say, around 80, 81. And a nice curveball that pairs with it. Talked before the game, he said he wants to get strikes up early on the batter so he can get to that curveball. It's a pretty nice pitch, especially when it's in the dirt. It's tough to, lay up, tough to leave, tough to hit. As always for this D2 team, reliable Derek Stefanczyk behind the plate. A newer addition at third base, Jacob Rallone playing his first game for the spring with the team. Jacob played in the fall, but this is his first game as he didn't play in Madison with the team. All right, here's the leadoff man for the Ramblers, number number ten, Lovovic. And the pitch that falls right down the foul base, so it's going to stay in play. Rolone over to one, stretch is made, and he got him at first. Nice stretch there from Aiden Linder for the first out of the inning. Rolone didn't know if that was going to go fair or foul. Oh, they throw the ball away. Oh, <laughs> sloppy baseball. <laughs> Love to get on for that. Nice there, nice play there by Rolone. That ball is trickling right down the foul fair line. Stepped up, took it in play, and then it delivered a strikeout at first. Nice stretch there by Linder to get that first out. Here's Barb with one retired already. Pitch low, ball one. This is Ogle, the shortstop. Bad second here today. Nice pitch there from Barr. It's good speed there. Up in the zone for strike one. Here's the 1-1 one -one offering from Barr outside. Nice leave there from Ogle. Count goes to 2-1. A couple fans trickling in here from both sides. Pitch. Batter leaves, goes to 3-1 here. Barr in danger of putting the first man on base here. Hitters count for Ogle. And the 3-1 from Barr. Strike, curveball, right in for strike two. Count goes to full now. Barr not afraid to throw that curveball, even when he's down in the count, like that 3-1 there. He loves to go to it. Here's a 3-2. It's gonna be ball four. Ogle gets on base for the Ramblers for the first runner of the inning. And that brings up number 26, Delaney, to the plate. I remember thinking from the fall series against Oil, they have a plethora of lefties in this lineup. I've already seen two out of the three. And they got one, another lefty in the on deck circle. But he takes ball one to bar. That ball is chopped towards Peyton Barr. Can't get it. It's going towards Bruno Bosman. Tough play. It's going to be a base hit. Tough play, slow roller there. It's going to be an infield single there for Delaney. And we have first and second now for the Ramblers. Catch your stick. Derek Stefanczyk goes out for a mound visit. Try to relay some signs to Peyton Barr. Up. And here's the catcher, A.J. Dan, to the plate. He's got a runner in scoring position. Could be a good spot here to get the Ramblers up and early on the Raiders. 
The first pitch from Barr. Swung on, hit right up the middle. It's going to be towards Rowan Scrupa. Scrupa bobbles it over to one. Plays made at one. Scrupa able to find him at first. And we go to, runners go to second and third. So, equivalent of a bunt almost there for Dan. It's five hitter for the Ramblers. Two on, big spot here early in this game to get up. And the pitch from Barr. Gets past Stefanczak, runner comes in. It's gonna be a free one. Wild pitch there from Peyton Barr is gonna allow the Ramblers to get on the board first here, one nothing. Runner goes to, thirst, goes to third, excuse me, on the ball. Stefanczak usually a brick wall behind the plate. That was a tough one though from Barr, it was diving away. It looked like it was a curveball there. Just spun out of the way. The pitch. Ball outside. It's a good take there from the Ramblers hitter. Right near that outside corner. Bar. Strike two called inside or strike one called inside there for Bar. Shot an inside corner there. And the pitch. Ball low, stopped by Stefanczyk, count goes to three and one. <laughs> Fair count here for the five hitter in the pitch from Barr. Strike right down the middle. Might come a little off guard with the fastball, count goes to three and two. Bar steps in, leg kick pitch. Ball low. It's going to be another freebie. Second walk of the inning drawn by the Ramblers hitters. Brings it to first and third. All right, pitcher's up now. Number 23. Another lefty here in the Rambler order. Pitch fouled off. We'll get that one back. Mark, it's that first pitch strike there that he's been looking for. Short lead from the runner at first. Doesn't look like he's going to be going. Oh, hello. That ball is upstairs. Good job, Mario. Number 23, get out of the way. And the pitch from Barr. Curveball misses outside. Nice pitch there from Barr. It's going to be strike two. Count goes two and two. Even. See, Barr chooses here. And the pitch. Curveball. It's going to be popped up towards Roman Scruple. He calls it, and the play's made. Two stranded for the Ramblers, but they're able to push one across the plate as we end the bottom of the first here at Glenville, Illinois. Your score, Loyola 1, MSWE 0.
All right, top of the second here. Roman Skarupa stands in, the typical leadoff hitter for the Raiders. Here in the, I think the four, five spot, four spot. See strike one there. Five spot, five spot. The pitch from Dylan. Lined up the middle. That's going to be a nice base hit there for Skarupa. Doesn't get much nicer than that for Roman. Catcher number 22, Derek Stefanczak, steps up to the plate. Looking to get that one back from the first inning. Ball low to Stefanczak. Pitch. Fouled out of play. To the softball field. Count evens at one. Scroop a short lead at first. Fakes like he's going to go. Does his nut. Ball to plate. 2 1 count. And the pitch. Strike up top of the zone on Stefanczak. Dylan able to let you in the count at twos now. Here's 2-2 two -two on the Stefanczak. Sees the ball outside. Couldn't bend back over the zone. Count goes full. And the 3 2. Oh, ring him up on the inside corner there. That's Stefanczak. Strikes out looking for the first out of the inning. Here comes third baseman Jacob Rolone. To the plate. Jacob had a few nice hits in the fall season. Swings right there through strike one. This group is still over at first base. Taking a very conservative lead over there. And the pitch from Dylan. The bender breaks in over the plate. It's going to quickly go to 0-2 on to Rolone. Got to think protective here. If you're Rolone, sees ball outside. Another looper coming in from Dylan. And here's the one, two. Oh, almost in on him. Two and two. Here's a two, two. Another curveball outside. Rolone brings it back. Three, two. Have to start. No, two. See what Dylan comes back with for the payoff pitch. Light kick. Fires. Ball's fouled back by Rolone. Skrupa took off from first. He's got to go back on over. Don't know if you heard that, but if you are the catcher's dad, he's saying hello. All right, back to 3-2. And the pitch. Line by Rolone at the third baseman. Plays made over to one. Skrupa is thrown out. Double play there for the Ramblers to end the inning. Rolone had a line shot to third. That was caught in the air. Over to one. Tagged up Skrupa. So after starting the inning out with the base runner, the Raiders are unable to move them past first. We're going to go to the middle of the second here in Glenville.
All right, Peyton Barr back out for the bottom of the second here for the Raiders. Number 24 steps in, the president, Nathaniel. Invited us here on short notice this week to get a little quick non-conference game in. Take strike one on the bar. Oh, really? I don't know if we have players or we want to drive or... Huh. Have you played them? Who? Bradley? Nope. Have you played them in the fall? We played a doubleheader on, on the Saturday and we went game on the Sunday. Uh-huh. One of their kids threw, I don't know, 110 pitches the first game, and he came out and pitched the second oh. game, and he pitched on Sunday. They, were, they only had, like, 10 kids that, that weekend, but it was like... Miami. Uh, yeah. That's that's. A yeah, I don't know if they didn't have enough people or why they didn't let me come in. Yeah. But thank you for coming in. Yeah, of course. Here's the one-two from Barr. It's gonna be strike three. There's that curveball for the first out of the inning there. There's balls fall away there. On strike one. And here's Peyton Barr with the pitch. Fastball upstairs. Not even that one. This is Zapia at the plate. Playing second base here today. The pitch, strike, bottom of the zone. Nice pitch there from Barr right at the knees. Count goes to one and two. Two bar goes to up. Sees fastball outside. Here's a 2-2 two, 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 Zapia. Curveball down, doesn't get him the bite. Count goes to three and two. Par <laughs> <laughs> shakes off a couple signals and the 3-2 payoff pitch. Strike three called outside corner. Peyton Barr's second strike out of the inning. Looks a little questionable though, right on the outside corner, the upside. Let's bring up Johnson for the Ramblers here. Two outs in the inning. Look for the first runner. Pitch. Bender brings it back in. That's strike one. Good first pitch strike there from 1-9. Pitch, fastball upstairs, doesn't give him the bite. In the 1-1, one, one, pitch right down the middle, strike two. Another fastball from Barr. He's up one and two on to Johnson, see what he goes to. Anticipating a possible curveball coming from Barr. And the pitch, fastball, got him, strike three. Three batters, three Ks for Peyton Barr in the bottom of the second, but your score remains Loyola 1, MSOE 2, or MSOE 0, going into the top of the third.
Welcome back to Illinois here. Probably the nicest day of the year we've had so far. The current temperature is around 64 degrees, 65 degrees, might even touch 70 later. Just an absolute gem of a day here to kick off spring. It's fun, I was able to break out the shorts too. Got a good ball game here so far through two. Oh, why does it say? Your score is Loyola 1, I'm so assuming 0. Peyton Barr is coming up to the mound. Wind is starting to kick up here. Peyton Barr up to the plate for the Raiders. Never got to handle the bat in his varsity day, so this is a good change for him. Now on the club team. Ball is lined into center field. It's over the catcher, or over the center field. His head all the way to the wall. Peyton Barr with a poke. He's going to cruise into second base. Peyton Barr, a stand up double to kick off the inning for the Raiders. Like the first pitch he saw there, he crushed that one of the fence. Nice hit there from Barr. So here's Alex Eschenbacher stepping in for the Raiders. He was the team's pitcher of the week, as voted by the players for his shutout performance against UW Madison. See, it's strike one. Not on the mound today, but he is playing left field, getting some more at bats. See, strike one there. Base hit here, good score bar. He's got some speed. Ball low on to Eschenbacher. Pitch fouled off by Beans. It's going to be one and two count now. On deck is James Watson, the leadoff here for the Raiders. This is a good chance to possibly get two on for the leadoff and top of the order here. One, two count on to Beans. Dylan looking to punch him out here. The pitch, curveball. Drove, driven by Beans to right field. It's going to drop in. Barr is going to be held up at third base. Alex Eschenbacher with a base hit there. It's going to make it first and third now for the Raiders and for leadoff man James Watson. Looks like that was a bender there by Dylan. Just poked in the right field. Beans able to sit back on it. Ah. See if the Raiders get a little interesting here with runners at first and third. Could try a couple of nice throwdowns and warm ups. And here's James Watson, previous at bat. He grounded out. The pitch, fastball upstairs. Pitch at the strike, top of the zone, on to Watson. Count evens at one here, no outs. Raiders looking to do some damage. The pitch, fastball upstairs. Maybe a change up there. <laughs> Watson, ball three. Now it's a hitter's count here for James Watson. Dylan's got to come back with a strike here. Watson looking for a pitch he can drive. And the pitch. Strike inside. Oh, that was a strike. <laughs> strike two on to James Watson. He throws his bat there, thinking it was a walk. Count is going to go to full, though. Up is calling the top of the zone here today for both teams. Got to adjust. Full count. 3 2 pitch. Eschenbacher goes from one. Ball four low. Watson's going to get on free. The bases are loaded here for the Raiders. No outs. And it's going to be the two hitter, number 1717, Hunter Parkman. Ball 
Looks like Loyal's gonna get a quick mound meeting here. I'll tell you a little bit about Parkman's weekend last week. A couple hits at the plate. Voted team's player of the week. At also currently leading MSOE in terms of average. Currently batting over 440. Has to be one of the highest marks in the NCBA. Good spot here for a hit for Parkman. Bases loaded. Loyal looking to get one here. Infield in for the Ramblers. And the pitch from Dylan. Fouled off towards Skarupa, who's playing a third base coach. I was going to come back. Oh, came back and play. Darn. Coach. <laughs> Big strike there for Dylan. Here's the 0 1 2 Parkman and the pitch. Strike two, swings right through the nice pitch there from Dylan. Gets up big on Parkman. This will be a big out for the Ramblers. If they can get this one, maybe get a double play on the next one. Get out of this inning. Run free and the pitch. Checks it. Did he go? He did not. Tough lead from Parkman. Nice curveball there down in the dirt from Dylan. One and two. And the pitch. Parkman takes ball two. Another curveball. It's a nice pitch. As you can see, he tough to leave those. Pitch. Dead ball. Hit him. That's going to bring in a run. Space going to remain juiced as Peyton Barr comes in to score a run. Hit by pitch there for Hunter Parkman. Bases are still loaded, still have no outs. And three hitter Aiden Linder up at the plate. Dinfield's. <laughs> Infield still in for the Ramblers. Linder leaves at ball one upstairs. And here's the one out. -oh. Strike one there for Linder. We can use that power bat to his advantage here. Maybe pull one out to the outfield. The pitch from Dylan. It's going to be a ball outside. Nice stop there from the catcher. Two and one. And the pitch fouled off by Linder. Dylan's able to even the count there at two. Loyal is still searching for the first out of this inning. And the pitch to Linder. Chop towards the third baseman. Third baseman's going to go home for the first out of the inning. No outs are made. Nice player there by the Ramblers to get one and prevent a run from scoring. That's a third baseman, number 15 there on the play. Nice play there. So it's going to bring up cleanup, cleanup man, Bruno Bosman. This is the moment he wants when he's up at the plate. One out. Looks like normal depth here for the middle infielders for the Ramblers. Bases are still loaded. We've got Watson at third. He's got some speed, so. Here's Bosman. Takes strike one right down the middle. Just saw his parents walk in. Hello. I see them over there. Pitch. One of one for Bosman. Pitch. That ball, is, that ball is fair. That's going to be one in for Bosman. Here comes Hunter Parkman. He's going to score easily. Aiden Linder is coming all the way from second. He's going into the plate. And the play at the plate is way out of there. Aiden Linder is going to score. Bruno Bosman. Base clearing. RBI double. That's going to make it 4-1 to Raiders. A 
tough play for the tough play there for the third baseman. He was playing in with bases loaded. That one just snuck past him, and then it kind of died in the outfield grass. Aiden Linder was on his horse from first base, able to score all the way. Bosman in the second, and Skarupa is now up at the plate. Skrupa had a single in the second inning here for the Raiders. You see strike one from Doan. I'm really liking that top of the zone. Ooh, good pitch here from Dillon. Doesn't get Skrupa to chase. Kind of even that one. One out. Scrupa chops that one foul back behind the catcher. He's down one and two in the count. Scrupa got to protect here with two strikes on him and his two strike approach. Swing and the pitch sees ball low. Another bender there from Dylan. Let's have a nice moving on him. Two and two on to Skarupa. Pitch. Ball's crushed towards the shortstop. Tough hop and able to get it and over the one. He's called out at one. Nice hop or nice play there by the shortstop. The ball took a nasty hop on the way over there. He's able to throw out Skarupa, but runner go, does go to third. That's Bruno Bosman. So now two outs in the inning. Catcher number 22, Derek Stefanczyk now up at the plate. Looking to push one more run across the board for the Raiders. The pitch. Ball's skied high towards the first baseman. Tough play with the sun over his shoulder. Second baseman there makes it over the shoulder catch. I hope that was on the stream because that was a nice catch there from the second baseman for the third out of the inning. Damage is done though for the Raiders. They're able to get up, get four, but strand one on, on the base pass. But your score now, MSW four, Loyola one. Yep. Yep, he's got a 
little tail hunt, lefty tail. All right, bottom of the third here. Rand was looking to get some runs back. Gave up in the top of the th third. Strike one there for Bar, top of the zone. Familiar spot we've seen called strikes all day. This is the extra hitter, Wallander at the plate. Fastball up from Bar. Oh, that one hit him. That's going to be, oh. That's got to hurt. That's right in the ankle. Oh, he is? All right. He'll be good. Just got told he's a catcher. Not ideal for the Raiders, though. Loyal is able to get one. The lead up. They're able to get the lead up man on board for the top of the order here. It's going to be number 10, Nick Lovick at the plate. Gonna be ball one. That's ball two. Bart's struggling to find the zone here a little bit. The pitch. Love it. Chop this one. Chops that one. Foul. I believe he had a ground out his first time up to Jacob Rolone. Here's a 2-1 from Barr. Upstairs, another ball. That was a 3-1. Don't want to give him another freebie here. Especially not when the top of the order is up right now. That's, oh, nice curveball there from Barr. Not going to break over. Man, it looked like it was going to hit the batter and <laughs> came right back in. But hey, regardless, ball four. And runners are going to go to first and second now for the Ramblers. No outs. This can be the shortstop Ogle at the plate. <laughs> Bar steps off. Didn't like something. It's a good chance here for Loyola to get... One back, we got a runner in scoring position, no outs already. Just one or two righties in the lineup. It's going to be a bunt thrown on the third baseline. Beautiful bunt there from Ogle. Out of position is Rolone. He is safe at one. Beautiful bunt there from Ogle. Don't think Rolone was ready for it at third, and that's just a beautiful bunt put down there by Ogle. Can't ask for anything more. Ball stopped right about halfway. Late to square, just textbook stuff. Bases are loaded now for Loyola. That's nice. So they got the three man up. Number 26, Delaney. Raiders looking to get one here. That's going to be a nice curveball there. Four strike one from Peyton Barr. Looks like Middle's playing back for the Raiders. Corners up. Pitch. Good block by Stefanczyk. That's going to probably save a run there if it gets by him. Relatively longer backstop, I would say, here. Probably able to go on a lot of pitches. I haven't seen much, many of the rebounds. Important to be a brick wall, regardless. For Stefan check here. Here's the 1 1 on to Delaney and the pitch from Barr. Strike two, another curveball, just dancing through the zone. And the count goes to 1 and 2. Barr looking for that big first out of the inning and the pitch. 
That ball is lined into right field. That's going to be in. Parkman is in. He makes the play. No runners are going to advance. Oh, he's going to throw it to second. Play is safe. That ball looks like it must have came off the end of the bat because it kind of barely left the infield. Parkman had to make a nice run up to it for the first out of the inning. Looks like it looks like off the bat he got a lot more of it, but it must have just got under it or something. Regardless, no runners advance on the shallow fly. Hunter Parkman able to make the play, and that's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, Dan. Base is still juiced. Nice pitch there from Barr. He's looking like he's using that curve a little bit more and more. Pitch. Ball's chop fell. 0 2 count now for Peyton Barr. This be a big spot for a punch out for Peyton Barr. Dan looking to play spoiler here, driving a run for the Ramblers. And the pitch. Just inside there. Almost hit him. One, two, fastball upstairs, another one close. And the pitch hits towards Jacob Lowe and gets past him. One run's going to come in for the Ramblers. Waving around third is another one. The throw from Escherbacher to the play will be. Oh, he is safe. Stefan Check not able to corral it. Uh, Eschenbacher had him at the plate. Stefanczak not able to corral it. Two are going to score for the Ramblers. It's going to make it 4-3 to three here in the bottom of the third. So now we're going to have runners at the corners there. Oh, that was a tough one. Ball got past Rolone. It was a clean hit. Clean hit from uh, the cleanup hitter, Dan. Eschenbacher was there, though. He almost had him at the plate for the second out of the inning. Tough play, though, for the Raiders. So now the runners at the corners, the five hitter up for the Ramblers. Still looking to do some more damage and even this game here. Tire is at third. Barr comes back to strike one. Still only one out in the inning. Runner goes from first. He's going to get a free pass from the Raiders, and that's going to be second and third now for the Ramblers. Count is one and one, two run scoring position. This is important outs here for the Raiders to get. Fastball upstairs, two and one. Curveball from Barr, foul down the line. It's going to be a 2 2 count now. And the pitch. Balls sky high towards James Watson. He's running in. Watson gets it. And the throw at the plate is going to be. Way over his head. Now the runner's going to score because Barr's out of position. That's going to be another run. It's going to turn into a sack fly for the Ramblers. Looks like Watson was in play. He just skied the throw a little bit over Stefanczak. That's going to be another run for the Ramblers here in the bottom of the third. Out is made on the catch. Just sailed the throw, no backup, and then that'll, that'll happen. Runner's still at third. He is the go-ahead here for the Ramblers in the bottom of the third. The pitch. This is Dylan at the plate. The pitcher sees ball one. Psych, he went. Don't know about that, but sure. I don't know, but... 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, two for Peyton Barr on to Dylan. The pitch, strike three, runner down the first, and the play is made. Peyton Barth says, I'll do it myself for the final of the inning. Ramblers able to get three back, back though, in your score. Going into the top of the fourth, MSW four, Loyola four. Top four, don't know why the score says, oh, it always does this. Pardon that, it is 4-4 four, four here. Bottom four, or er, top of four here in Glenview, Illinois. We've got Jacob Rallone at the plate. Jacob playing third base here today, leading off the top of the fourth. Fun fact about Jacob, he's actually a part of the Army Reserve program, so he occasionally will miss some games, but always makes it when he can. Sees ball one there. Pretty big salute to someone who can balance MSOE engineering with Army Reserves and playing club baseball. Busy guy. Only fouls back behind the plate. Strike one there on to Rallone. Jacob studying electrical engineering. A couple guys on the team who are also studying electrical engineering. The pitch from Dylan. Ball inside. Ball's popped into the air. Shortstop camping underneath a tough play. It's going to drop in. Rallone's going to be at safe. Uh, sun's the only thing in the sky. Probably didn't see it off the bat, clearly. Tough play, and the shortstop's not able to get it. So Rallone's going to get on first base there with the, uh, we'll call it a, call it an infield single. Spare the out. Spare the error. A little activity going on in the MSW bullpen. It looks like Roman Skarupa warming up here with catcher Derek Stefanchuk. Peyton Barr, current pitcher at the plate, though, for the Raiders. We're alone over at one. Barr had a nice double in his first step out of the game. That ball is going to get past the catcher. Rallone's going to get a freebie. And now runners in scoring position for Peyton Barr. As previously mentioned, had a nice hit over the center fielder. Looking to drive in. Run here for the Raiders. Rallone takes a relatively large lead at second. And the pitch from Dillon. Ball's hit towards the third baseman. Tough pop. He's going to go over to one. Rallone stays at second. And the play is made. Peyton Barr is retired at one for the first out of the inning. 
Rolon unable to advance. Uh, would have been a tough play if he tried to go for it. That ball was hit right at the third baseman. And that's going to bring up left fielder Alex Eschenbacher to the plate. Beans another single, or yep, had a single in the first inning to right field off of Dillon. Looking for his first RBI of the game, though, and the pitch. Strike taken there onto Beans. Nice pitch there from, from Dillon. The pitch, curveball low. Did he go? No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> Field said he didn't go. <laughs> Look no different than the other one. One and one on the count on to Eschenbacher. Hand the pitch. That ball is fouled off into the catcher's lap. One, one, one and two count. And the 1-2 from Dillon, lined at the third baseman, just like the last play, Rolone's back to second, and the play is made. I mean, almost a carbon copy of the previous play, ground ball to the third baseman, looks back the runner, makes the play over at one. That's going to be two outs now for the Ramblers. So Rolone, the leadoff man, able to get on, unable to move him any further past second. Top of the order, James Watson up for the Raiders. Be the third time through the lineup for MSOE and the pitch. Ooh. Looks like a change up upstairs for ball one. Ball two upstairs on to Watson. Pitch. Ball three to Watson. Up big here on to Dillon. And the 3 0. Ball four to Watson. And that's going to be another base runner here for the Raiders with two outs. It's going to bring up the two hitter, Hunt Parkman, to the plate. Parkman looking for another RBI here with two outs. Rolone still at second. Now we got Watson at first base. And the pitch from Dillon. Inside to hit him. Dead ball. Second hit by pitch of the game for Dillon. And now the bases are juiced. Three hitter Aiden Linder up to the plate. Now playing first base here today with the bases juiced here for him. Ducks on the pond, as they say, for Linder as he steps in. And the pitch. Swung on by Linder. That's going to be lifted in left field. Over the head of the left fielder. Rolone's going to come in. Here comes Watson from second. He's going to score. Parkman all the way in from first. Aiden Linder, base clearing double to put the Raiders back up. Aiden Linder with a nice base clearing double, hit it right over the left fielder's head. A nice swing on that, saw the first pitch, gave it a ride. Your score is going to be 7-4 MSOE now. So now Bruno Bosman up to the plate, had a base clearing double of his own in the previous inning, looking to add one onto the board for the Raiders. Takes strike one on from Dillon. Bob's been a patient hitter, looking for his pitch at all times. A pitch, curveball in, that's going to be strike two on to Bosman. Nice bender there th from number 23, Dylan. O2 on to Bosman. And the pitch from Dylan. Chop foul from Bosman, staying alive there. Nice pitch there from Dylan.
One two count here on to Bosman, or sorry, O oh, two count. Now one two count. One two count on to Bosman. The pitch, Looper. That's going to be chopped towards the third baseman. He comes up on it and the play over to one. Got him. Bosman is thrown on at first, but not before the Raiders are able to get three back there in the top of the fourth. Your scores go towards the bottom. MSW 7, Loyal 4. Looks like the Raiders are going to bring Peyton Barr back out here for the bottom of the fourth. Having some nice discussions with the <laughs> fans in the umpire. Nice guy. Ramblers were able to get some damage on the board last inning with three runs. Looking to come back and knock Barr out of this game. Remember the, the, remember the Raiders had Skarupa warmed up ready to go here in case Barr gets in trouble. And here's Nathaniel stepping in for the Ramblers. The... El Prez for Loyola. Swings, that one's gloved. Oh, off of Barr's glove. And bobbled by Skrupa. That's going to be a throwaway, too, from Skrupa. Gob the second. Oh, tough play there for the Raiders. Looks like Skrupa bit off a little bit more than he can chew there. I think it ticked off of Barr's glove. Bobbled by Skrupa. And then he made, tried to spin and make a throw over to first. Unable to get the runner. And he's going to go to second. The off man aboard for the Ramblers, exactly what they were looking for as Zapia comes up to the plate. Basketball upstairs gets snagged by Stefan Schacht. Keep that for coming back here. Ooh, wind is howling here all of a sudden. Maybe it's pushing bars. Fastball. Or curveball there because it's a strike one. The 1-1. One, one. Ball low. Blocked by. Gets by Stefan check. It's going to be a freebie. Run to the third for the Ramblers. Sapia just needs to put this ball far enough to the outfield to score him. Let's check the depth of the Raider infield. Looks like everyone's playing relatively normal. The pitch, ball outside. 3 1 count here. Here's the 3-1 pitch from Peyton Barr. Fouled off. Nice pitch there from Barr. Nice swing. Count goes to full. Here 
And the pitch. Foul down the third baseline. The pitch. Got him. Strike three. Peyton Barr delivers a beauty there for the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Johnson to the plate for the Ramblers. Still have that runner at third base to be wary of. Strike one outside corner there for Peyton Barr. Strike two on the swing there. Oh, two. The count. Johnson down early, looking to keep this at bat going a little bit longer. Curious what the pitch count is for both guys. The pitch. Curveball. Whoa. Ooh. That's the one we're calling the ball. Okay. Barr not missing by much there. Count goes to one and two. The pitch. Ball two. Upstairs. Pitch. That time he got him. Strike three for Peyton Barr. That's his second K of the inning. And now there's two outs. Oh, that's Wasp. There's a wasp on your jacket. It's a heads up. Yeah, on your jacket. There it goes. Yep. Oh, I missed it. He drilled him. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the uh, Wattlander who got hit last at bat in the same leg. Ouch. Looks like we're going to have a mound meeting here. Pate Bar hits the second batter, and that's going to bring up the top of the order for Loyola. Little settling down Peyton Barr here. Need him to at least finish this inning. Be huge. Uh, Peyton Barr throws it away. That's going to get past Aiden Linder. One run's going to come in, and Walland is going to come to first, or to second, excuse me. That's going to score one. 7-5, MSOE. It's gonna, score is now going to become 7-5. With Loyola looking to do some more damage. You got one out there in center er, in second base. Foot of the top of the order. This is Nick. A pitch, ball outside. Big lead at second base for Wallander. Pitch from Barr. Upstairs, ball two. Pitch. That's a strike. Two one count now. Pitch, 
Strike two, another curveball. So here we go, 2-2 two, two count with two outs. We're going to run our second base here. Barr versus the... Oh, he struck him out on another curveball. Peyton Barr gets the third. Not before Loyola gets one back, so we go to the top of the fifth. Your score, MSOE 7, Loyola 5. All right, Loyola throwing out a new pitcher this inning. It's number 15, Zapia. He was previously playing second base, I believe. Uh, I don't know who's in at second now. Griffin went from second to third. Okay. And Louis Dispenza's in at second. There you go. Griffin to third. Louis in at second for the Ramblers defensively. Let's see what Zapia's got cooking. It's a nice curveball right there. Looks like Skrupa is going to be leading off the inning for the Raiders. It's going to be 5 6 7 due up. All right, here we go. Roman Skrupa stepping in to the box for the Raiders. Let's see, Zapia's first pitch. Shows bunt, fastball upstairs for Roman. <laughs> One will count here for Skrupa and the pitch from Zapia. Ball on the outside corner. The hair outside. Strike outside corner called on to Scroop, and there's just the PS first. You know, it might be Zapia. We're gonna go with Zapia though. Could be Zapia. And the pitch. Another ball outside, living there, 3-1. Roman lead off the sitting and is, must be feeling a little bit like normal with him usually being the leadoff hitter. 3-1, that's what we call strike, top of the zone there. Count goes to full, on to Skarupa. And 3-2. Fouled off. Roman protecting there. It's a good spot from Zapia. Count still full. And the pitch. Fouled off. Scrupa stays alive. Hanging in there. Making it difficult on... Zapia.
And the pitch. Skrupa fouls another one off, just staying alive, making it difficult to get him out. The pitch. Scrupa chops it towards the pitcher. That's going to be right in Zapia's wheelhouse. And he throws it over to one. Oh, almost a little collision there at first. But the play's made for the first side of the inning for Rambles. Scrupa was tough out there. Probably an eight pitch at bat. That's going to bring up catcher number 22, Derek Stefanczak, to the plate. Stefanczak's first at bat off Zapia. Pitch, fastball upstairs. Pitch, Stefanczak liked that one, swung right through it. Nice pitch there from Zapia to even the count. The pitch. Svanchek swings to that one again. One two count. That looks like uh, Zapia's got a little bit more velo than the first pitcher, Dylan. Boy, I can tell. Let's see what the curveball looks like. I haven't seen a whole lot of that yet. There it is. Strike three. That's a nice pitch. Rings Stefanchek up for the second out of the inning. Two outs here in the inning. This is going to bring up Jacob Rallone for the Raiders. Had a, we'll call it a, a single in the previous innings. His first pitch he sees up. The pitch. Ball two, outside, but low, up 2-0 on two is a peel. The pitch. Oh, we like that one out. Zapia gets Rallon the chase there on fastball outside. Pitch, fastball upstairs, count goes to 3-1. Hitters count for Rallone. Speed looking to finish this inning off here, come back with some strikes. And the pitch, ball four, Rallone walks. That's the first run of the inning for the Raiders. That's gonna bring up number 19, Peyton Barr to the plate. Nice at bat there from Jacob Rallone. Looks like we're gonna have a quick little mound discussion here for the Ramblers. Previously you mentioned Barr earlier today doubled over the center field gap. Pitch. Swung on strike there, thrown by Zapia. Nice pitch there. This Rambler seems got some nice pitchers on it. The pitch, strike two on to Peyton. And Zapia finds himself up quickly, 0-2 on to Peyton Bar. Bar looking to protect here. And the pitch, runner goes, throw down to second, will be. Not in time, it gets past second baseman. Rolone's going to get a freebie. This ball at the plate, 
Cohen is one and two on the Peyton Bar with a runner in scoring position now. And the pitch. Whew, nice pitch on the outside corner though. Can't locate much better than that for Zapia. Bar not chasing. And the pitch. Ooh, another one. Same spot. Outside corner. Come goes to full. Ooh, that's close. All right. Full count here. It's a PL looking to punch out Peyton. And the pitch. Bar lines out to see the outfield. Rolone's going to be held up. Oh, he's waved home from Rowan Skrupa. Gets past the left fielder. Peyton Bar's going to go to second base. Peyton Bar comes up with a base hit here in the top of the fifth. Scoring Jacob Rolone. Second base is Peyton Barr. Nice hit there. It goes to eight and five. Looks <laughs> like we're having a little discussion at second base. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll share. Alex Eschenbacher at the plate now. Runner still at second base. See strike one there. Oh boy. Peyton Barr trading places there with Jacob at that previous hit. Nice poke for his second of the game. Good block there from catcher Dan. Bit of an equipment issue for Sapia. Wind is blowing once again here. And the pitch to Beans. Fouled off behind the plate. Means batting nine here today. Looking to turn over the lineup here for James Watson. Down one and two in the count though. Two Zapia. And the pitch. Line by Beans. The center field. It's going to be played and caught by the center fielder Nathaniel Gobb for the final out of the inning. Raiders able to get one more back on the Ramblers. Your score as we go towards the bottom of the fifth. I'm a sweet loyal to five. There we go. Here we go. Defensive changes for the Raiders as well as we go in the bottom of the fifth. Roman Scarupa, number six, going to be stepping on the mound, coming from shortstop. And Peyton Barr is going to be going to left field. Scarupa makes frequent appearances in relief for the Raiders. Had one in Madison as he had a nice save. I'm gonna, we'll call it a hold, actually, in Madison last week. I don't think it would be considered a save. Scarupa... Fastball, curveball pitcher relies heavily on that curveball. See, he's probably 40 40 on each, then comes back with a changeup for the final pitch he's got in his arsenal. Senior electrical engineering student from Campbell Sport, Wisconsin. And he's a flex player for both teams, so he plays on D2 and D3.
Going to shortstop is going to be Bruno Bosman from second. Alex Eschenbacher is going to second from left field. Everyone else stays the same. All right, Roma Scarupa into the game now. Hello? There we go. Mike's good. A lot of wind here, so we might get a lot of feedback, unfortunately. We got the two hitter up for the Ramblers. This is old goal, the shortstop. Scarupa looking to start him off here with a strike if he can. Starts in the stretch. Pitch, ball low. Ball's hit towards second baseman Alex Eschbacher. Corrals it over to one for the easy put out. Beans to Aiden for the first out of the inning. Skrupa gets his first out of the game from the mound. It's going to bring up the three hitter, number 26, Delaney to the plate. Delaney moved from second to third base defensively for the Ramblers. Looking to start this one here. Pitch, Scrupa, ball outside. Scrupa, oh, taking photo of that? No. Oh. That would have been a good shot. Yeah. So then he follows that one back. Scrupa gets his first strike of the at bat. Group of deals, ball outside. And the pitch swung on by Delaney. That's going to be strike two. Scrupa, it's going to be a change up there. Final Roman, I think he's coming back to the curve. Let's see what he's got for Delaney. 2 2 count. The pitch. Fastball lined up towards center field. Going to be a base hit. Nice stroke there from Delaney. This puts that one right into center. Good two-strike hit there. So one out runner at first for the Ramblers. Going to be the cleanup hitter Dan up at the plate now. Scrupa direct directing the infield a little bit on positioning. Seen the oil bunt earlier in the game. Don't know if they're going to do that here. Just got to be ready for it. As Dan steps in. And the pitch from Skrupa. Going to be Bolo. Stop by Stefanczyk. Nice stop there. And the pitch. Skrupa. Follows that one down the line. Heads up into the soccer net. Count as one and one here. Man, still can't ask for a better day. That's for sure. And the pitch from Skarupa. Taking ball low. Two and one. Ball's hit towards first baseman Aiden Linder. He stops the ball, throw over to Skrupa. Skrupa comes over and makes the play. Nice job there by Aiden Linder, keeping that ball in the infield. Drop my papers there. I missed that call almost. Okay, so two outs. Nice play there by Linder. Diving stop, prevent from getting to the outfield. Runner's going to advance to second. Skrupa came over and they got the out at one. It's going to bring up the cleanup. Nope, five hitter for the Ramblers. There we go. 
too. Oh, that happened. <laughs> the old offering from, from Skrupa. That's going to be a ball outside. I don't count. And the pitch, screw up a ball outside, 2-0. Hasn't quite found the zone rhythmly yet. Pitch, there it is. Ball skied up in the air, that's gonna be towards Jacob Rolone. It's gonna be a tough play. Someone caught it, it's gonna be Bruno Bosman, he makes the catch, oh. That ball is dancing up there in that wind. Bosman able to take charge and get the final out of the inning. Well, the strands won as we go towards the top of the six. Your score, MSOE 8, Loyola 5. How did that score get changed like that? There we go. 8 5. All right, back to the action here. We got top of the order for the Raiders. James Watson going to be stepping up to the plate. This will be Zapia's first time through the top of the order. Pitch, James Watson takes strike one on the outside corner. Must be looking to manufacture some more runs here. They got six more outs to do so. Pitch, ball low. And the pitch, fastball upstairs, hello. Two and one. <laughs> it's like Zapia might be in some discomfort there. Came into the game with a band aid on his finger. <sighs> I think he's fine to me, folks. He's still spinning that thing. I don't know. Two and two. Count on to Watson. Gotta be a little bit of discomfort though when you're gripping the laces and got a band aid there or cut or something. Strike. Ooh! Watson makes a three and two there, Le leaves that outside pitch. Let's see what Zapia comes back with. The pitch, fastball fouled off by Watson. Yeah. 
All right, three, two, still. James Watson looking to reach here and be the leadoff man. Fouls off that pitch. Bye, Mom. Three, two, still on to Watson, staying alive here, making a tough for his appeal. The pitch, strike three, nice pitch there from Zapia. Gets Watson swinging there for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up number one seven, Hunter Parkman. He said hi to the hi to his mom on the stream. Let's see if we can get a hit for his mom on the stream. Parkman with one out here. Pitch, Q shot, going to stay foul ball or stay foul. Oh, one here on two, HP. Fast, maybe like a change up summon up. Ball sky hide way out of play from Parkman. Looks like he went up and went up for that fastball there. I mean, one, two count on two, Parkman. He's gotta be protective here. Poke Choke, name of the game for Hunter here. Let's see what Zabia comes back with. Looks like he's been mixing a lot of fastballs. Let's see if he leans curve here. I don't know if he kind of that finger discomfort. He's taking his glove off almost after every pitch. Here it is. There's a curveball. Left it upstairs, though. It's going to be ball two. And the pitch. Got him there. Nice pitch there from Zapia, his second K of the inning. <laughs> Here we go. Three hitter Aiden Linder had a nice base clearing double earlier in the game. First time seeing Zapia, though. He's been rolling here in the top of the six. Ball's launched way foul and out of play. Oh, Bruno's dad almost got it over the shoulder. That would have been a nice catch. Yeah, Zabia might have found a little bit extra here. I mean, he's got that discomfort in his hand, but he is rolling through the top of the order of the Raiders. That ball is lined towards center field. Coming in, it's going to drop in. Nathaniel Gobb not able to make the play. It drops in before him, and Aiden Linder has got his second hit of the game. Oh, Clear to Peter Bruno Bosman up now at the plate. Got a runner at first, so that's the first hit. No, no, first hit of the inning surrendered for this to be a first base runner as well. It's going to be Aiden. Bosman stands in, had a double earlier in the game. A couple of ribbies on the day. Sees fastball upstairs. Bruno Bosman, mechanical engineering student at Milwaukee School of Engineering. First year playing club baseball and the pitch strike upstairs, top of the zone. The pitch, ball low. Bosman takes two one. Linder takes a small lead at first. Haven't seen a throw over yet from Zapia. The pitch. Bosman lines that one towards past the third baseman. That's going to get into the outfield. Linder on his way to third from first. Bruno holds up. Oh, he's going for two. He's going for two. Slides in. Nope, no plays made. Bruno to second base. Aiden the third. 
on the liner, line shot from Bruno Bosman. That's his second of the game as well. So Raiders doing some damage here with two outs in the inning. Now they got runners at second and third. For the five-hitter, Roman Skrupa had a base hit his last time to the plate. Looking for another one here. Two more runs of insurance would be nice. So, Or we play seven here in NCBA. And the pitch. Oh, nice bender. Kind of caught Roman off guard there, but it doesn't come back for a strike. Skrupa digs in here. 1 0 the count. And pitch. Another ball upstairs. Time's out. As the Pia looks like that band aid's coming off or something. Which I don't know if Loyola had another pitcher warmed up and ready if they're subbing. Looks like he just needed to adjust the band-aid he's staying in. All right, just a reminder, 2-0 count. We got second and third here for Skarupa. Sapia looking for his first strike of the at-bat in the pitch. There it is, strike one on the Skarupa. Top of the zone, that's where he's living so far. The pitch fouled off by Skarupa. Evens count at 2-2. Two two. Two two. Skarupa stands in. Two outs and the pitch from Zapia. Ball upstairs. Group of holds. Three and two. <laughs> Time's called by Skarupa. <laughs> Big pitch here for Zapia. Let's see what he goes to here. Three, two. Pitch. He got him. No, no, he oh. Boo. <laughs> 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 I thought he went to. It's all right. Scrupa doesn't go. Ho checks his swing. A little bit of a questionable call. I'll, I'll admit it. <laughs> it's going to leave him juice now. For the catcher, Derek Svoncheck, batting six here today. And the pitch, fastball upstairs. Yeah, tough, tough call there on the previous at bat. I mean. Tough spot for the ump. He's standing there in second base, not really in position for that call, but that's the kind of stuff, man. Makes and breaks baseball games. Foul ball. One on one here on to Stefan check. The pitch, Svancek lines it right at the third baseman. That guy has been there all day making those kinds of plays. It's going to be the final of the inning. They, MSOE leaves him stranded, unable to get one across the board as we go to the bottom of six here in Glenview.
All right, new hitter for the Loyola Ramblers up in the bottom of the sixth here to kick things off. This is Louie, came in and played second base when the pitching change occurred. Seeing his first pitch from Skrupa. Takes strike one down low. Good start for Skrupa to get up, get one up. Strike two from Skarupa, living in the same spot, low zone there onto Louie. He's got to protect now with down 0 2 on Skarupa. And the pitch. Oh, fastball inside. It gets out of the way of that one. I don't think we've seen a bender yet from Roman. This at bat might be coming here. And the pitch. Nope. Fastball outside. Ball two. Count evens at two here. Big, big base runner potentially for Loyola if they can get him on. Gonna erase this three run deficit here in the six. Ball three, Skrupa missed on the last three. Louis all the way back from 0 2. And the pitch. Ball four, Louis brings it all the way back down 0 2. Nice at bat there. And it's gonna be a the leadoff man aboard for the Ramblers needed that one. That's going to bring up the president, Nathaniel. He's playing center field here today. Pitch. Nathaniel slaps that in the left field. That's going to drop in if it stays. F oh, just foul. Right down the line. Tough call there. Well, not a tough call, but tough. It's a nice hit there from Nathaniel. And here's the 0-1 on to Guab. That's it towards, oh, and it's through. Right between the gap between first and second. Runner's going to stay at second base. Oh, looks like it was a cut to third there. Unable to advance. Holds up at second is Louie. It's going to be first and second already for the Ramblers. No outs in the inning. Skarupa surrenders a hit to the president, Nathaniel. It's a nice poke there in between the first and second gap. Just out of the reach of Linder. Here comes number 15, the pitcher in the game right now, Zapia for the Ramblers. Count is fresh at zeros. And the pitch from Skrupa. Lines that went into right field. Parkman's under it, camping. Grabs it, and no play will be made, so he just throws it to third for the first out of the inning. First out for the Raiders. That's a big one. Opens up the double play ball here to get out of the inning. Skrupa. Able to re retire Zapia. We got Johnson at the plate now. Runners at first and second, and the pitch from Skrupa. Strike. Nice pitch there to get ahead for Roman. Roman loves those first pitch strikes that get up on the batter, so we can get to that curveball a little bit quicker. So he's got cooking here for Johnson and the pitch outside. Here's the one on one for Skrupa and the pitch ball outside runner. Gonna go. Stefanczyk fires down the third. He is ooh. Rolone unable to corral it, gets past him. Runners are going to advance run to second and third now, scoring position. A little bit of a, a little bit of a risky play there from the base runner. Able to get in safely though, and now they're both in scoring positions. This is a big hit here potentially for Johnson to get Loyola right back within firing distance of MSOE. 2-1, pitch for screw up, ball low, 3-1 and one now. Here's count here for Johnson. 
group of needing a strike here. And the pitch. Strike call there. Comes back with a fastball. 3 2, nope. This be a big K for Skarupa. Big hit for Johnson if he gets it. And the pitch. Ball four. It's a walk. Bases are going to be juiced now. Four. Looks like a pinch hitter coming in for Loyola. This is number 12 hitting for Wallander. He can't get hit for a third time anymore. It's a big spot here for Skarupa. Looks like Linder's playing up. Rolone's playing at the grass. Middle back here for the MSOE defense. Top of the order is up next. So this is a big out to get for the Raiders. Strike one from Skarupa. On to 12, Radke. Radke. Pitch. Chopped, fouled. 0 2 count now. Skrupa up big 0 2 here. Looking for a much needed out here for this Raider defense. And the pitch. Bender not able to bring it, bring it, bring it back down. It's going to be left up for ball one. Scroop has got some pitches to give here. On to Rad. You don't want to give him a pitch. He can lie in. And the pitch. Fouled off by Racky. Stays alive there. Nice piece of hit in the state. And the pitch. Ball outside. That's the second ball for Skarupa. Evens count at twos. And the 2 2 pitch. Ball outside. Didn't miss by much, but it missed. Count goes to fall. Ooh, this is a big spot in the game here, folks. 3-2 count for Skarupa onto Radke. Bases are juiced, one out. Bottom six, and the pitch. Ball four. He four. Ooh. Bases loaded walk for Skarupa. That's going to bring in one run for the Ramblers to make it 8-6. Bases are main juiced, and we're going to have a mound beating here. This is going to be top of the order up. Uh, Luke or Nick Lovick up at the plate for the Ramblers. The heart of the order awaiting I'm going to be looking to limit the damage here and stop the bleeding a little bit. One one pitch from Skrupa can end the inning. Let's see if he can get it. Lovick stands in. Base is juiced. And the pitch. Ball outside. one -oh count here on the Lovick and the pitch. Fouled off, got him to commit there. Four strikes, Skrupa gets one back. Big wind. Count is one -oh one now. Corners are playing up for MSOE. Pitch from Skrupa, ooh, we're just upstairs for a ball two. Didn't miss by much. That's the top of the zone has been called frequently today. Just missed a little north. 2-1. Screw up. No. Ball outside corner for ball three. 3-1 three, count here. Hitters count for Lovick exactly where he wants Scrupa. scrupa has got to fire back the strike here. Stands in. Come on, Sixer. And the pitch. Got him swinging, strike two from Skrupa. 
So we find ourselves same spot as last time. 3 2. Bases are loaded here. Top of the order up four. The Ramblers. Let's see what Skarupa throws them. Lovick stands in. The pitch. Line towards short center fielder James Watson. Watson camps underneath it. Has it. Runner coming home. The throw from Watson will be at the plate. And it will be. He's out. James Watson goes it from center field. Rares escape the inning. What a beauty from James Watson. He had one last week. I guess they didn't read the scouting report. 8-6 is going to be your score as we go to the top seventh here at Loyola. Well, not the way I thought it would be, but Roman's group able to get two outs on one pitch. Nice play there from James Watson. One of the best throws of the season for him. Had that one where he sailed earlier in the game. <laughs> Nailed that one, though. And what a, a crucial time for that hit, too. <laughs> oh, Brewers are up 8-5-2. Let's go, Jake Bowers. Hi, Alex Derman. I hope you're having a great time watching the stream. What's up? Huh? Meet what? All right, back to action, a little scoreboard or game changer fix, and it's going to be Jacob Rallone at the plate. Um, I think I'm a little behind on the count. 2-1. That's what I just heard from you far. So top of seven, this is the final inning here. So unless Loyola can get two in the bottom of the seventh, Rallone stands in. And the pitch. Strike two. Swings right through that pitch from Zapia. Zapia looking as good as ever. I mean, even with the finger discomfort. Uh, a lot of wind here, I bet. Fortunately, I'm trying to block it the best I can with the mic. 2-2 count on the Rallone and the pitch. Line towards the outfield. That's going to be back, back. Oh, a play is not able to be made by the outfielder. Jacob Rallone with the double. Ball probably got right in the sun would be my guess. But it's still a nice poke there from Jacob. Almost all the way to the fence. Probably about 15 feet from it. Nice poke there from Rallone to kick off this inning. Yep. Peyton Barr stands in now, has a double from earlier in the game. Hasn't had any action since his switch over to left field from pitching. On the hook for a win right now. If the Raiders can get the save here in the bottom of the seventh. Not to worry about that right now. Barr takes strike one at the plate. We're loaning in at second. And the pitch from Zapia. Strike two. Nice cut there from Barr. Like that one. Nice pitch from Zapia up in the zone. 
quickly finds himself down 0-2. Bars got to protect here. Pitch. Ball outside. Good spot there from Zapia. Bar not chasing. And the pitch. Oh, what a beauty of a curve there to get Barr looking there. Nice pitch there from Zapia for the first side of the inning. I think he fooled Barr. I think he fooled me a little bit, too. That was a nice pitch when he came back in. That brings up number 54, Alex Eschenbacher, to the plate. Now playing second base here for the Raiders. Looking to bring in Rolone here for another run. The pitch. Lifts it to center field straight up. Rolone's going to be tagging him from second. Nope. No, he's not. Stay coming back into second base. Second fly out of the day for Alex Eschenbacher. It's going to be the second out of the inning. And it's going to bring up the top of the order, James Watson, number nine. James doing a nice job at the top of the order here today for the Raiders. Going to be going to... Oh! I think everybody's caught napping there except for Zapia. That would have been a nice pickoff if I had someone there. Watson digs in. He's going to Germany next year. Pretty cool. Study abroad program. Seeds. Ball one. Oh, President Nathaniel in the outfield didn't like that one. Did a little spin there. Oh, that was a ball. Going to play baseball in Germany somehow. Pretty cool out of James. Ball two on to Watson. Two out of Watson. There's a strike from Zapia. First one. The pitch. Watson chops it. It's gonna be a tough play. Third baseman on the charge and the throw on the run. Out is the call on to Watson. Tough play there. Bang bang play at first. Gonna get Watson for the third out of the inning. Oh. All right, bottom of the seventh. Here we go. Final frame here at the ballpark. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of defensive change. Skarupa's coming out. The closer, Alex Eschenbacher, making an appearance here today. Had a complete game shutout. His last appearance against UW-Madison last weekend. Beans looking to come in here for the three-out save. Looks like we got Bruno Bosman going back to second base. Roman Skarupa going over to short. The rest of the Raiders remain the same. Alex Eschenbacher got a plethora of pitches in his arsenal. He's got that fastball, curveball, slider. I think he throws a changeup, but he's got the out pitch, the splitter. Maybe we'll see it here today. His favorite. Beans is a senior civil engineer. His second year with the program. Oh, it's a nice pitch. Looking nice today, Beans. Looks like he's got the heart of the order here. He's got Ogle, the two-hitter, three-hitter Delaney, and then the cleanup hitter Dan to go through. So it will not be easy on Beans here getting the save. All right, bottom of the seventh here, and in Glenview, Illinois, we got Ogle, the shortstop, kicking off things for the Ramblers. Big if he could get on base. They only need two to tie, three to win here, bottom of the seventh. First out, always the hardest to get in the bottom of the seventh, it seems like. Eschenbacher stands in, and his pitch. Ball low.
The pitch. Strike. Eschenbacher finds the outside corner there. Nice shoot from Eschenbacher. He gets the count at once. And the pitch. Bender lines up, and that's going to be a base hit. Leadoff man aboard for the Ramblers. Exactly what they asked for. Ogle. Nice liner off of Eschenbacher. Right up the middle. Right to... Right for a single. So here comes the three-hitter Delaney. He's got a base hit earlier today. And a nice swing to pair with it. Ogle over at first. Delaney is the tire. Schbacher stands in, delivers. That's strike one, outside corner. Nice spot there from Beans to get up. Pitch, fastball upstairs. Misses. Ball's hit towards Aiden Linder. It's, he cuts it off, but no one's going to be there. Oh, no, sorry. Linder unable to make the play. That's going to be safe. It's tough play for Linder to make, though, but that puts the tying man on first. Looks like Beans is coming over to cover. And it's, I was a little blocked by the foul or by the pull here. Okay, so let's reset. we got runs at first and second for the Ramblers. No outs in the inning. And we got the cleanup hitter, the catcher Dan, up at the plate. Raiders still looking that for that first out of the inning. And the pitch. Strike there, outside corner from Eschenbacher. And the pitch. Bender, good block by Derek. Nice take from the hitter. Better block by Stefan Check. Can that was crucial. Cannot let anything through here to get. Big lead at second there from Ogle. Beans looks him back in the pitch. Ball's the line. It's gonna be down the line. Tough play for Peyton Barr. It's gonna be foul. Goes to one and two. One and two, the count for Eschenbacher. Leg kick. Deliver. That's going to be chopped towards the third baseman, Jacob Rallone. Rallone cuts it off. No, Scroop is there. He throws it over to second. Throws it past him. One run's going to come in. Skrupa throws it away on the chopper for Bruno Bosman. Throws it past Bruno Bosman. One run's going to come in. Runners are going to go to first and third. So eight, seven! Still don't have an out here. So the winner is at first. They just replaced them. Oh, it's a courtesy runner. Yep, yep. <laughs> Tires at third, winners at first, infields in for the Raiders. No outs yet. The pitch, runner goes, fouled it off. Loyola is being aggressive with that runner. Understandably so, he's kind of got a free base here if he wants it. Don't expect to throw it on from Stefanczak. Raiders still looking for that first one. Eschenbacher throws back to one. No play. Come on, Jules. 
And the pitch sent high towards left field. It's Peyton Barr. Barr's camping. Underneath it. Fires. That's going to tie the ball game. The sack fly there from the five hitter is going to tie the game, folks. 8-8. Eight, eight. Bottom of the seventh. Eschebacher blown save. And now we've got one out. Runner still at first. Got Louie at the plate here for the Ramblers. Still the winner over at first. Could have seen a possible bunt here to get him in the scoring position. The pitch, ball upstairs. Walked in his previous at bat. Let's see how this Raider defense responds. That crucial error there has costed them now. Still trying to find two more this inning. Ball's up. Just w just misses them. 2 0. The pitch. Curveball. Nice pitch there from Eschenbacher. Gets his first. Two one. The count here for Eschenbacher and the pitch. Another curveball. Got him. Strike two. Two two count now. Eschenbacher panning for this out here. He needs it. Louis looking to play spoiler here and keep this one rolling for the Ramblers here in the bottom of the seventh. And the pitch. Got him. Strike three. Nice pitch there from Beans there. Second out of the inning. And that's going to bring up El Prez, Nathaniel, number 24. Two outs. I'm mean, sweet looking to get out of this inning and get the bats going again. In the top of the eighth, it would be. And the pitch. Another curveball in. Strike one on to Nathaniel. The pitch. Ball outside. One one here for Eschenbacher. Oh, Stefanczyk blocks it. Runner freezes. Good block there from Stefanczyk. Keep him from advancing. That's huge. 2-1 count still at the plate. Swinging through it is Nathaniel for strike two. Two and two. Eschenbacher digging deep, looking to find that third strike to get out of the inning, get the bats. Hand the pitch. Grounded towards one Skrupa. Skrupa gloves it. Over to one. No play. Oh. Sails the throw. He's in safe. Skrupa. Unable to make the third out of the inning. And now it's first and second. Game-winning run at second base now for the Ramblers. It's Zapia, the pitcher that's came in and shut things down up at the plate. Winner at second. Eschenbacher stands in. And the pitch. Ball, nice block there from Stefanczyk. He does it again. Such a crucial block there, limiting the runners to where they're at. One will count here. Ah, ah, ah. 
As Shabaka checks the checks the runner at second. No throw though. One will count. Two outs. And the pitch swung through by Zapia. Strike one. Count is a one and one even here. Game winning run at second for the Ramblers. Leg kick. That was hit into center field. It's going to be Hunter Parkman there. He gets it. Runner's going to be held at third. Probably the smart decision. Ball was lined very hardly into the outfield, but it's still a base hit to load them for the Ramblers. Zapia comes through with the base or with a base hit, unable to score the runner though from second. But there's two outs. A wild pitch can score. Base hit scores. Big spot here for Eschenbacher. This is what he lives for. Johnson in for the Ramblers. They're on their feet here at Glenville, Illinois. And the pitch. That one's chopped towards. It's going to be a short play. Eschenbacher gets it. Over to one. Out is made. We're going to extras, folks. We're going to extras. Alex Eschenbacher comes up clutch. When it mattered there with the bases loaded for the final out. And here we go to the eighth. All right, welcome back, folks. We got a great game for you. Loyola able to get two in the bottom of the seventh, tie things up as we go to the top of the eighth. Extra innings, free baseball here in Loyola. NCBA rules, no runner on second base, no California rules or anything. It's just like another inning. And we got Hunter Parkman stepping up to the plate two times, or seen Zapia earlier, the two hitter. Zapia pushing through this finger discomfort. Ball one there. But a very entertaining game so far here today. Here's the one over the Parkman. Swung through, strike one. I think he previously struck out to the piano's previous at bat. And pitch. Swung on, strike two as the Pia gets him again. One two count for Parkman. Fast, 
And a pitch from Zapia. The bender gets him. Strike three. Parkman strikes out again. Oh. Here we go. For the first out of the inning. Oh. Messed things up. All right, here we go. One out in the inning. Parkman strikes out. That brings up the three hitter, Aiden Linder, to the plate. And the pitch. That's a cue shot right at the pitcher. Pitcher mishandles it, but flips it over to first for the second out of the inning. Two outs now for the Ramblers, and that brings up Bruno Bosman for the Raiders. Looking to get any sort of life here into the Raider at bats. Kind of gone a little cold here as this game's progressed. Zapia, in a rough initial inning, but has shut the Raiders down since he's came into this game. And the pitch. Strike one on to Bosman. Oh, and one the count. And the pitch. Strike two. Bosman chases outside there. And Zapia can get out of this inning here efficiently. Just need one more strike. And the pitch. Bender lifted into the air by Bruno. Came from his left fielder, sun in the eyes, but he makes the catch for the third out of the inning. The Ramblers looking to win the game now as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Your score tied at eight. All right, a little late to the action here. Beans open it up. 3-0. Three, 3-1. Three, oh. Three, one. All right. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. 2-1 on to uh, Radke. Pinch hit in the earlier in the game for the Ramblers. Eschenbach comes back for a strike here. Count goes to 2-2. Two and, two. and the pitch. Strike three, got him. Eschenbacher, first strike, a strikeout here in the th in the top of the, bottom of the eighth. Oh. Rambler, top of the order now up. It's Nick Lovick. Love. Second time seeing Eschenbacher and the pitch. 
Line towards left fielder Peyton Barr. Barr underneath it, and the play is made for the second out of the inning. Oh, boy. Two outs. Ogle up at the plate had a big hit earlier in the game when the Ramblers made their comeback here. I think he started off the top of the inning for the Ramblers. And the pitch, breaking ball from Eschenbacher, ball one. And the pitch, so flies it way foul. Evens the count at ones here. See, so yeah, the way the sun's setting, if you were Jacob, Roman, or Barr, you've got one hell of a sun to look through. The pitch, ball low, two and one. And the pitch, strike, there we go. Outside corner there from Eschenbacher. He's just one more. This might be where you see the splitter here from Beans. And the pitch, fastball, got him, ring him on the outside corner for strike three. Here we go, top of the ninth, another inning of baseball here in Loyola. Your score is still tied, eight to eight. What's that? 75 pitches. Okay. And he's came in and it's shot him down so far. Other than the one run he gave yeah, up. Yep. He's pitched well. Here we go, top of the ninth here after a James Watson pep talk. Let's see how the Raiders respond here. Roman Skrupa leading the things off here. Raiders looking for a crucial leadoff man aboard. Roman, this is his spot. He is the leadoff man typically. Shows bunt, pulls it back. That's going to be ball one there. So P is still in the game here for Loyal. I mean, he's pitched... Just got the counties at 76 pitches now. Only give up one run, after, and that was in the first innings pitch. He's really settled into this game nicely here. Ball two. Two more count here on the scoop. Shows bunt once again. Pulls it back. Ball three. The pitch, ball four, Skrupa draws that leadoff walk, crucial for the Raiders. That's going to bring up number 22, Derek Stefanczyk to the plate. Skrupa, aggressive base run too, he might, we might see him score, possibly a bunt here to get him in the scoring position here. Just Raiders need to manufacture a run any way they can. Here's Derek, Derek Stefanczyk. Big lead at first is Skrupa, and he's going. Throw down a second. Will be. Not in time. Skrupa swipes second, and he's in scoring position now. Nice steal there from R Roman. And now runners in scoring position. Four, number 22, Derek Stefanczyk. Got a ball at the plate. 
Could be one oh. Ball two, upstairs to Stefan Sheck. The pitch, ball three, inside. Seven straight for Zapia. <laughs> Oh, wind is blowing. Sorry for the mic. Four pitch walk to Derek. That's two of them in a row. Eight straight for Zapia. Looks like he's lost a little bit of that control that he's had earlier in the game. And it's going to bring a courtesy runner in. Mound meeting here for Loyal. They got runner, Raiders have runs at first and second. We've got third baseman Jacob Rolone in the game. Had a beautiful double earlier in the game to the wall. That was off of Zapia as well. Actually, was the only run he's given up. Bruno Bosman, courtesy running at first base for Derek. Skrupa still at second. He's got some speed. Raiders, no outs here. Looking to do some damage here in the top of the ninth. Zapia looking for his first strike. Strike one. There it is. Big pitch for Zapia. He needed that one. Jacob takes strike one. One ball upstairs. It's been a true marathon here today. We got rewarded the two free extra innings so far. Been a great baseball game. Rolone swings through that one. Strike two. Big pitch here. One, two from Zapia. Upstairs. Good leave from Rolone. Two and two. Count is even. Still no outs. And the pitch. Strike three. Nice pitch from Zapia. Gets Rolone. It's going to be the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up number 19, Peyton Barr, to the plate. Starting pitcher from earlier. Now he's got the no decision on tonight on today's game. Runners are still at first and second. The pitch. Ball outside. Bar stands in. The pitch. Fastball upstairs doesn't get him. Two O's count. And the pitch. Uh, Bar, Bar wanted it. Nice pitch from Zapia to get one. Strike one. And the pitch. Strike two, nice pitch there from Zapia. That was a nice curveball. Looks like he had bar out in front there. Two and two, one out. I'm just really needing Peyton. Come through here, Zapia, pitch. Ball shot into right field. It's gonna be a tough play for the first baseman. Makes the catch, nice play there. Skarupa almost tagging up, decides not to. Nice play there by the first baseman for the second out of the inning. Here we go. 
two outs. Alex Eschenbacher to the plate, the nine hitter. Pitcher in the game now. Really could use a run here. Looking for a nice poke here. He has one earlier in the game, had a base hit. Skrupa still at second. He's the go-ahead run. Zapia pitch. Ball outside. And the pitch. Oh, ball two upstairs. Good take from Beans. Pitch, swung on through. Nice pitch from Zapias. Nice cut from Eschenbacher. Two-one count. Zapia stands in. Leg kick, pitch. Strike two. Eschenbacher swings right through it. One more pitch. Zapia gets out of the inning. Eschenbacher down to his final strike to tie the game. And the pitch, going towards the second baseman. Second baseman takes a bad hop. Skrupa holds up at third. No, he goes home, he goes home. And he's in safe on the air. The second baseman. Skrupa takes advantage and the Raiders are gonna put one up. Nine eight your score now. Bosman the second, Eschenbacher the first, top of the order, and James Watson comes up to the plate. Two outs. Sapia, pitch upstairs. <laughs> He's quick pitching. Seems like a fair answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Spia's got to be a little careful. He's come set and pitching quickly. Pitch. Sometimes when you get in a rhythm as pitcher, you just want to keep pitching. Still got to pause, though, at the top of that motion. Watson, 1-1 one, one count. Steps in, digs in. And the pitch. Ooh, just missed outside. Not by much, though, from Zapia. And the pitch. James upstairs. Three and one. Hitters count here for Watson. Can Zapia answer? And the pitch, strike, nice pitch there to get back. Oh, shoot. Three and two, two outs. Runners are gonna be going here at first and second. And the pitch, ball four. Two outs, bases loaded for the two hitter, Hunter Parkman. Looking to end his offer today. Base is juiced, two outs here, still for the Raiders. Looking for more insurance to take them to the bottom of the ninth. Parkman steps in, pitch from Zapia. Strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Pitch two, fouled off by Parkman, and he's down 0-2. Parkman down 0-2, looking to battle back here. Sapia looking for that final punch out, take this thing to the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Ball outside, didn't miss by much.
One, two. Curveball, left upstairs. Pia can't get on top of it. Two and two now the count. Two and two, two outs. Parkman steps in. And the pitch. Lifts that ball. It's going up over his head. Camped underneath it as the right fielder at the fence. Got it. Playing deep, the left fielder there to make the catch for the final out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the ninth. One run game, nine to eight. Ramblers looking to win this thing. Back to you, Derek. <laughs> All right, the next great continuation chapter of this baseball game. Bottom of the ninth, Ramblers need one to tie, two to win. Alex Eschenbacher comes in for his third inning of relief. Looking for the win here now. We got the three hitter Delaney up at the plate for the Ramblers. Heart of the order here. Coming up, Schabacher's already seen him once. Gets him strike one. Strike two. Eschenbacher finds that outside corner on Delaney's quickly down 0 2. Stefanczyk sets up outside. Beans misses outside. Ball one. One and two count here on to Griff Delaney. <coughs> Had some nice hits earlier today. And the pitch from Beans. Poked just foul. Would have been over Rolone's head. One and two still. Beans delivers. Another one foul. Delaney holding strong here. Playing some spoiler. Making it being the toughest out. It'd be crucial if he reaches on base here for the gamblers. Ra Ramblers.
And the pitch inside misses Delaney though. Two and two. Delaney ropes out in the right field. Parkman looking. Oh, nope. Pulls up. Delaney going to be leadoff man aboard for the Ramblers. Once again, I think they've gotten that every one of these innings here where it's mattered. Clutch hitting from the Ramblers when it matters most. Delaney reaches on that, inf or not, on that single in between first and second gap to the outfield. That's going to bring up the catcher. Catcher Dan, number eight. Ball's lined right at Roman Skrupa. Skrupa bobbles it. Go to two. Oh, he misses the throw. That's going to be a, another error. No runners advance. Just what's ooh. Skrupa can't get an out there on that grounder. And runners are going to be first and second now. Runners at first and second here for MS, or for the Ramblers. Strike one though at the plate. This is the five hitter. Had the sack fly to Tyre go up, or he had a really crucial sack fly in the seventh. I remember that. Or six, six, six or seventh. No outs still here for the Raiders. And flows up. Oh, just out of play. Lawrence Stefanczyk. Oh, can't make the play. <laughs> oh and two count. Onto the five hitter here. Be a big punch out for Beans. First out of the inning. Would be huge for the Raiders. And the pitch. Fastball upstairs. No bite. One and two, and the pitch, got him, Alex Eschenbacher. Big K there for the first one of the inning. One out. Runners still at first and second for the Ramblers. Got the second baseman Louie batting here, number five. One out, Eschenbacher looking to close the door on this game. The pitch. Strike one. Fastball from Beans. Owen won the count here onto Louie and the pitch. Ball. Out. Oh! Strike two. Outside corner. Stefanczyk framed that one back in for strike two of the at-bat. Beans looking for the punch out here. The pitch, ball upstairs, no bite. He's fishing, no dice. And the pitch. Bender upstairs. Oh, yep. <laughs> Eschenbacher just missed upstairs there. Two and two count now. And the pitch. Got him. Strike two. Eschenbacher dealing here in the ninth. Two outs. Tying run at second, winning run at first for the Ramblers. Two outs, got the president, Nathaniel, up at the plate. Eschenbacher trying to close the door on this game. Raiders want to get out of here. Eschenbacher delivers. Oh, it's fouled off, out of play. Strike one.
Owen one. Ball upstairs from Eschenbacher. Pitch can't come back down in the zone. One and one. One and one. Count. Pitch. Strike. Got him. Got him at the knees. Strike two. Nathaniel down to his last strike. Raiders looking for one more. Play at any base. Tire at second. One two count here. Eschenbacher kicks, delivers. Ball upstairs. Can't break it down. Two and two. Count is even. Eschenbacher stands in, and the pitch, got him, strike three, Eschenbacher, K's the side in the ninth, your final, MSOE nine, Loyola eight, after two innings of extra, the Raiders are able to get it done, Alex Eschenbacher with the win, and the Raiders will leave victorious here from beautiful Glenville, Illinois. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast and stream of MSOE Club Baseball. It has been a pleasure, and I hope you enjoyed this great game here on a Saturday with some beautiful weather. If you're looking to catch the Raiders in action again next weekend, D2 will be playing at a doubleheader against UWM at four o'clock or at five o'clock at home, followed by a game on Sunday at ten o'clock, and the D3 team will be playing Eastern Michigan uh, with a doubleheader starting at ten o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. This is Gavin Woods signing off for MSOE Club Baseball. Thank you for tuning into the game.